starting off the dealership with a solid DoorDash order, $17 for seven mile double. Let's get this thing started. And we got a $10 cash tip on that one, bringing us up to $27 in our first half an hour. I took this $7 for five Jersey Mike's, bringing me back to where I want to be to cherry pick another dinner time banger. $16 for eight mile. This dinner rush has been super good so far. We're moving at over a $30 an hour pace. And while I was driving, I got this Uber Eats order going in the same direction, and it looks like I might be able to stack these two together. At first, I wasn't going to risk it, but after looking closer, I realized all I got to do is hop off the highway really quick and grab it, and the routes match up. Up very well. All right, we're getting off the highway, I'm trying to get to the shopping center to pick up the sushi order. Hopefully, this goes well. So I took it, and I'm so glad that I did because this order was ready when I got there. And, and look at that subtotal over a hundred dollars of sushi. That tip is about to be nice. Drop that DoorDash off, and now we're on our way to our Uber Eats drop off, only 11 minutes away. And a four dollar extra tip bringing it to 23 dollars on that sushi order, and we are already at 73 dollars in only an hour and 50 minutes. So far, the best start to a shift I've had in all of 2020. And it's not stopping. I had to wait a little bit for this one, but it's easy money. $10 for two. They came with a $9 for one add-on. The orders are super good tonight, and that's good to see. And dang! It ended up being a 30-piece that I got done in only 28 minutes. All right, it's 7.30 now. Let's see if we can get one or two more. Let's go! After waiting all that time, I got a $29 Instacart. Only one item. $25 tip. That's what we're talking about. It's a super rare order to get. That is what cherry picking looks like. You gotta be willing to sit here and wait sometimes, even when the minutes are piling up. Shopping for wine can be hard, but I've definitely gotten better at it. It looks like it was on the other side and whoa, I almost just caused a scene and knocked over some bottles. We're just not gonna record me grabbing it. $139? Bro got money. And it's a Wednesday too. Only working the peak hours of the dinner shift, we made an extremely quick $133 in only three hours and 45 minutes for an hourly rate of $35.67, the best day I've had in a while. And now I'm gonna run the same strategy all week, only working dinner shifts to really focus on maximizing efficiencies. Let's see how much we make day number two, which is a Thursday. And we're starting off the day with this $23 for five double order from Pita Jungle and Safeway. I picked up the first one and headed to the Safeway. This one is just a grocery pickup, so I don't have to shop or anything. Thing. It wasn't too bad at all. I could easily carry that in one trip. I probably could have gotten something better, but I take this seven dollar for two. That I'm gonna knock out really quick. Let's go! Twenty-two dollars for five triple. These last few days have been super busy recently. Only two was ready when I got there, but it wasn't too long of a wait for the third. An easy twenty-two dollars and fifty cents for that DoorDash triple. Sixteen dollar for seven miles. We're not even two hours in. I haven't had a thirty dollar an hour day in months, and now we're on pace to have two back to back. And another double to end off tonight. A $9 for three, followed by a $10 for two for another $23 in 36 minutes. I actually ended up doing one more quick $6 for four, getting back to where I live. And in total for a Thursday dinner shift, we made $101 in two hours and 45 minutes for another elite hourly rate of $36.89. Two amazing shifts in a row. And now I'm excited for the weekend. Today is Friday and it should be even better. We're starting off with the day with an easy $11 for six miles. DoorDash and then a $12 for three but unfortunately this is the first order of the week where we ran into a major problem I got this amazing DoorDash $21 for seven double pizza order a couple of minutes before I dropped off the Uber Eats order which was just a mile down the road to the right but to get back on the main road it was gonna take 16 minutes because of some event or construction there was insane traffic to make it even worse I couldn't really unassign it since DoorDash raised the minimum completion rate from 80 to 90 percent and I was at 93 percent cutting it close so I tried to drive around the traffic to see if there was any better. We ended up barely making it to the restaurant without getting a contract violation. That crazy traffic made this order less of a banger than it looked on paper, but regardless, we're still on good pace for the day. And this will definitely help for sure, an easy $17 for 8 miles. I'm telling you, there are some mansions here in the North Scottsdale area. Another $21 double right here. We're just going to keep going until it slows down. And you know it's a busy night when you're getting a bunch of stacked orders that are actually good. $21 in 37 minutes right here. Towards the end of the dinner shift now, I do a quick $7 for two, and then my last order of the day is $10 for seven Little Caesars. And in total for our third great day in a row, we made a quick $102 in three and a half hours for an hourly rate of $29.78. My strategy of hitting every dinner shift every day of the week is really working right now, making the most amount of money in the least amount of time. 
when I was living in my car for a little bit, working all day, my hourly rates were lower because I was working through all the slow hours of the day, which lowers the overall averages. I did higher totals for the day, but that's because I was in my car and didn't really have anything better to do. And since I'm staying at a place in the rich area in North Scottsdale, I could take orders from where I live and start right at the beginning of the dinner shift cherry picking a good first order, which has really been affecting my hourly rate good. And we're starting Saturday off with a $15 for 8 double from California Pizza Kitchen and Yogi's Teriyaki Grill. Off to another good start to start the day. We got a $33 Walmart order right now, only 24 items, so we should be able to get this one done in under an hour. Starting the order off with a lot of produce, which is a good thing, easy to find and all in the same area. And in total from start to finish, this order took 52 minutes, putting us at $49.50 for the day. We're only an hour and a half in. $10 for five is next. For $2 a mile, we'll take it. Actually, we're going to unassign that one for a $23 for 50 cent for nine mile DoorDash double instead. This one is $2 a mile too, just better. Does anyone even eat at Red Lobster? I've never heard of anybody say, let's go to Red Lobster. I do. I get the Admiral's Feast, which is shrimp, wild-caught flounder, clam strips, and bay scallops, all crispy to a golden brown, served with cocktail and tartar sauces, and a choice of two sides. Well, your favorite restaurant came with a long wait. What's up with that, Dashy? If you want something cheap, look at McDonald's. Here at Red Lobster, they cook to perfection. I got this $11 for six BJ's orders because it was bringing me back to where I want to be. And I got an unquestionably good add-on, $12 for a half a mile. The orders are busy, but these shopping centers are busy as well. Taking me forever to escape. Mason's famous lobster rolls? How come I've never heard of it then? A quick shout out to today's affiliate sponsor, Audible. I've been listening to audiobooks recently while driving about what to do with the money I'm making from these deliveries. If you think about it, being able to learn while working is a great opportunity we shouldn't waste. It's not like you could do that if you're a doctor. But I'm sick. I'm, I've got coughs, I've got a fever, I've got a runny nose. Bro, chill! I'm trying to think and grow rich. So head over to the link in my description and you'll get a 30 day free trial and a free audiobook of your choice. Any book you could think of, whether it be fiction, nonfiction, autobiography. And if you choose to, it really supports the channel, so I appreciate it a lot. Now, let's get back into the ride along. It's 8 o'clock and these orders are still smoking hot. $12 for four, we're taking that any day. Next I get the $17 for seven DoorDash double order. I picked up the first order, which is just some tea. And then when I got to Kava, they told me someone else already picked it up. This is pretty rare for it to happen on DoorDash. It's way more common on Uber Eats where you get that crappy $3 compensation no matter how much the order was supposed to be. But on DoorDash, you get half pay. I got $7.25 for canceling it and then $8.50 for the other drop off. Looked like it was supposed to be a hidden tip order, but not sure how much the total was supposed to be because DoorDash allegedly pays you for only one base pay for stacked orders now and not for both. Our fourth day in a row with amazing numbers, $141 total, 31 an hour, and $257 a mile. This honestly might be the most efficient week I've ever had, even better than anything I've ever done in Boston. The only downside to this dinner time only strategy though is I'm not at a crazy total for the week. After four days, I'm only at $479, which isn't amazing. But this does mean I can spend more time editing during the day to maximize earnings in that category as well Today is the Super Bowl I originally was planning to do a 10 to 12 hour day today But during the day I was turning on the apps and I saw that it was pretty dead Nothing at all before the Super Bowl So I decided to just start at 4 30 p.m. To see what happens. Uh, we got our first order of the day It is the Super Bowl right now. It's the first quarter So it can be either really good or really bad. My first one is obviously pretty good So we're gonna see how things go a lot of people say that it's really bad during the Super Bowl, but this area is this expensive area. It's a dinner time area, so it should still be good. We'll find out. We got another double pizza order right now, $19 for eight. We are not turning that down. There was a fairly long wait at that Papa John's. It was super busy, and the employees were looking stressed out, but we got it. And this one put us at $37 in just over an hour. While I was on my way to my second drop off to this apartment, here I got this $10 for less than a mile. You have to be hammered not to take that. And I think this guy's hammered because that's walking distance. He's gonna have to have money to be able to afford that. I picked up the order up and I dropped it off to the same building I was just at for an extremely quick $11. And this area is hot right now. Definitely the place to be for the Super Bowl shift. $10 for one. Didn't think too much of it at first. I mean, obviously it's a great order, but I did not expect this. A $12 extra tip, bringing it up to $22 in 10 minutes. 
That puts us $72 in an hour and a half for a ridiculous hourly rate of $48 an hour. Obviously, that number is going to be hard to keep up with the more hours that we work. The orders are really good right now. I'm going to be very selective and throw a Hail Mary here. As you can see, I'm turning down a bunch of good ones I would normally take. There's some regular declines in there as well. And I think I'm going to take this one, $28 for 10 mile double from PF Chang's and the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, it's kind of taking me pretty far away, but come on, it's $28 for 10 miles. As long as I get something up there, then it should be worth it. The restaurants were right next to each other, so I was able to pick them up pretty quick. And now it's time to make the 10 mile trek. Not quite sure what is going on here. I think it's saying to go down this road, but as you can see, it's not quite a road that I can go through without damaging my vehicle. I looked at my DoorDash map, it was saying to go a different way I did and it brought me to this sign. So I called the customer, she said she was at like a tent or for some event or something. When I got there, she was sprinting at me. It freaked me out. It reminded me of this movie scene. I was like, what the heck? She grabbed it and sprinted away. That, that was our first drop off. Our second drop off was dropping off to a ranch. We made $28 really quick in just over a half an hour. But the real question is, can I get an order that brings me back to my zone? Because I'm pretty far out right now. How long it's going to take me to get my next order is going to determine how good that order really was. And to no surprise, we had to drive a lot of dead miles back. I'm trying to catch some more huge Super Bowl orders. I pulled in this shopping center and sniped at $18 for 7 I don't know where it's dropping off to because it's from the trip radar, but I'm not too worried about it for those type of numbers. While I was driving, I was getting a bunch of add-ons that I declined. A few of them were not bad, but like I said, standards are high right now. So while I would have taken some of them right now, I'm not going to. Uh, do I park at the garage here? I guess there's a spot right here. Guys, hit the subscribe button if you've enjoyed the video so far. We're almost to 50k subs. I get this $15 for 7 pizza order next. It came with a long wait, but I didn't mind because I could watch the game a little. The order was solid for sure, but our next order is up there as one of the best orders I've ever gotten in my life. $11 for two from Mastro's Ocean Club? That just sounds expensive. And it's four medium rare steaks with some cream spinach and truffle butter sauteed wild mushrooms. I'm hoping for a wild tip. $62 in 14 minutes. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect in this Super Bowl shift, but it looks like I was in the right zone to be, and that's up there as one of the best orders I've ever done. I hurried home to try to catch the end of the game. It said it was going to overtime, so I didn't want to miss that, but my TV took a massive dump. The Wi-Fi wasn't working or something, and this is what I was looking at when the Chiefs scored the game-winning touchdown Super Bowl pass. $197.00. Four hours, that last order drove up our hourly rate to a ridiculous 49 an hour. 49ers, 40, ironic, they lost, they lost. A lot of people say that it's busy during the Super Bowl and dead during it, but in my area, it was the complete opposite. We still got two more days of the week to make money. Let's see what we got. All right, well, I was getting some Taco Bell, kind of deba debating whether to work or not. But while I was in the parking lot, I got this order right here. So I guess we're going to put in a couple of hours. Our first order is pretty good. I couldn't turn it down. Not sure how long we're going to go today, but I just want to milk the peak of the dinner shift. Our second order is from DoorDash, and it's $17.50 for 11 miles. We got pretty lucky with the parking at the restaurant right there. I like doing these high-paying, long-drive orders, as long as they have a good dollar-per-mile ratio, of course. Unfortunately, that one though, I had to drive about 10 minutes to another hot spot to get our next one. But it's a banger. $15 for six sushi order. We got all sorts of delicious food here that I am extraordinarily envious of. And look at that fire. I think that fire is real. How do I know? Because it's hot. But not as hot as this extra tip. And I've been $34. I'm telling you, taking advantage of only work at the dinner shift in this expensive area has really been a great strategy for me recently because of orders like this. Now I'm in the Old Town Tourist Scasso area. Personally, I think it's not as good as some of the areas more north, but it's capable here. I got an $11 for two steakhouse order that we got done fairly quick. I'm trying to head back north closer to where I live, but I'm not going to turn this one down. But eventually, soon, I'm going to think I'm going to wrap up the shift. 
And my last order of the day is a $7 for three shopping order. Not something I would usually take by any means. But I was heading this way up anyways. And I had to grab some chicken for myself too. So it worked out perfectly. $100 in three hours for $33.37 an hour for the day. We only did six orders during that dinner shift. The best one being that $34 sushi order. Now let's see how much we make in our last day of the week. Which is a Tuesday. Even though it's a Tuesday, I'm going to try to work longer to up my hours for the week. That being said, it's almost guaranteed that my hourly rate is not going to be even close to the hourly rates that I've been achieving all week because they've all been quick low hour shifts at the peak of the dinner rush. It's shown very clearly here for my first hour, only three lame breakfast orders to wrap up the 9 a.m. hour at $18.07. We got our first decent order of the day, $15 shopping order, says we get it done in 30 minutes. A couple of items were out of stock, which lowered this order to $13, not as good. But I was surprised to get this one, another shopping order that is actually way better. $28 for 16 items, 4 miles. That's going to put us at $59 at 11.54 a.m. I did two more lunchtime orders that weren't terrible. But we are currently at $78 in 3 hours and 45 minutes for the day after our brunch shift. Now we're going to take a break and skip the slow hours and come back out for the dinner shift. Or start off with nothing too crazy, $11 for 6, then we get an $8 for 2 from Chick-fil-A, can't sleep on an order like that, and then I knocked out a $13 for 6 Pizza Hut that's definitely solid before I got an order that I wasn't expecting to get. Let's go! $72 Instacart, not gonna lie, I, I don't really want to shop for 50 plus items right now, I'm also kind of worried about my battery, I think I have like 15%. I have this portable charger, but it's got one, one bar left don't know how much power that's gonna give me so hopefully we don't run a battery during the shop because if we do that will not be preferred I just barely made it with 2% left I wasn't focused much on recording obviously but we got one in the trunk and one in the front seat the first one they told me to leave in front of the garage door and the second one the customer helped carry the groceries and it ended up being $71 in two hours and 18 minutes only the second instacart I did all week but it was definitely worth it with that brunch and dinner shift combined it totaled out to $183 in seven hours and 15 minutes for an hourly rate of $25.13 it looks bad compared to the rest of the week but it's still a great day mainly due to that huge instacart Cart. And in total, will be $960.11 for the week in 28 hours and 45 minutes for an hourly rate of $33.39, the best I've ever done on just like a regular work week video like this. There was a golf event during this week, so I think that's why the pay was so high. That added to the fact that I was only doing dinner shifts, because ever since that ended, it's not been that crazy as it's been in that video. I mean, come on, that was, that was one of the best weeks I've ever had. But hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video.